but a lot of my my imagery comes from what I see, and I have photographed a lot of that. But importantly, I'm not working from the photographs. I'm working from the drawings. If you can go to the next one. Like for instance, this, you, you can see this. This is inside that, that uh, yellow ochre basilica that you just saw. And these, these are fascinating places because as you can see the roof, there's all kinds of curvatures and lines and shapes and masses that are occurring. And there's an infinite number of way that, ways that you, can, that you can draw this, that you can do gesture drawings, that you can do sketches. And, and I will sit in here like for hours and just do variations of what I'm seeing I'll move around. Uh, or there may be a wedding going on, and I'll sit down and, and you know watch the wedding, uh, uh, and uh, and then they ride off on horses, uh, and I and I will, yeah, that's that's the outside. If you go back to the inside, that's it. Uh huh. And so it's it's from this that I take my imagery, and and I like curvatures. I, uh, I, I like uh, uh, how things recede. If you can go to the next one. But it, it's fabulous, these places. So this, this is the painting that I did this year that, that was influenced that I took from what I have seen in Mexico. Uh, I, I will come back uh, from Mexico and I use my sketches as a point of departure uh, not the gouache paintings, which I'll show you in a minute, but I use my sketches as a point of departure for the painting. And I, and I look for, at, at a sketch and I'm looking for a shape. And I find a shape inside that sketch. It, it, it may be just a triangle, like, like you see here on, on the upper left-hand side. Um, it may be a window that you see on, moving over to the right-hand side where it's pink. Maybe that was a window. Maybe that was a window in my sketch, but it's certainly not a window when I start painting it. It's a shape. And so, so I depart from there. And so my, my abstraction is coming from somewhere. It's what I've seen. And I'm, I'm not trying to paint the sketches, but I'm trying to, to find a shape to start from. And uh, one of my concerns this past year has, has been using my paint in a more translucent, uh, transparent way, as, as you can see, like doing washes. A couple of years ago, I, I was doing very opaque paintings. If you can go to the next slide, or file. You, you can tell I used to teach because I, I see. Oh, I, this is a sketch. This is a sketch of one of the sketches of the inside of the basilica that we just saw. Uh, you can see the shapes that I'm concerned with, you know, the arches, the, the triangles, they have shapes. Uh, sometimes, sometimes my sketches are, are more refined than this and there's greater detail, but it's always the shape that I'm looking for. Go ahead, next one. This, now, we were talking about the transparency in my painting. Could you enlarge this? Yeah, if you can enlarge this, you'll see that several years ago, I was painting more opaquely. There is no translucency, there's no washes. And so this was a way that I, that I have painted. It's a way that I'm still interested in. So I'm, I'm interested in like, two ways of painting, uh, applying the paint, you know, with the opacity, building up color on top of color, layer on top of a layer. And I'm interested in the washes and the translucency with, with the, with the um, uh, opacity. One thing about my work, uh, if you can hold it right there, one thing about my work, if you, will, if you will look at the area, like on the, well, I can't point to it. There's the yellow sort of triangle that's in the middle of the painting. And then there's a dark shape next to it. And if you look right above it, you see a light blue. Before you see the dark blue, you see a light blue. And if you move over, you'll see a yellow there. That's what I call intervals, intervals. And they were all throughout these opaque paintings. And not, not as much now because of the, the translucency. But the intervals were very important to me. They, because I was, I'm aware of them, I don't have to think about them. And it's the transition from one color to, to the next. And it helps to give the, the, uh, the uh, uh, painting some depth rather than just butting up against, you know, color on color. But that can have depth too. But for me, it's these intervals that were, are important, you know, throughout my work. Okay.
Okay, next. That's good. This is this is a, an, an, another shot of, of a different facility. Uh, it's just magnificent. You know, you you know, you walk in and this these 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 so, some of them are churches, but they look like cathedrals. Uh, I, I don't think this is considered a cathedral. This is just a church, uh, and it's surprising what the culture did two and three hundred years ago, and how it sustained itself. And there's so, for me, there's so much visual information here. You can take a corner, you can take a, a section and render it. You can take another section and do another drawing. You can take the same section as you know, you, you know, render it different ways. Uh, there's, there's so much happening visually in, in, the, in these cathedrals. And, and I do a lot of drawing outside too, but, but there's more information for me in, inside the churches, okay? which you can see, you know, where my work is coming from. Yeah, well, we'll see. Okay, this, this would be, if, 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 if you would imagine, if you could imagine a sketch like I showed you in the beginning, you know, it, it was a somewhat a recognizable sketch. And I go back to my hotel room at night and I would take that sketch and I start working from it. Well, well, for instance, I may have done a sketch here or a gesture drawing and, and, and I would start looking for shapes inside that sketch. I wasn't trying to draw the, the ceiling of a cathedral, but I was looking at the shapes that I had rendered. It's the shapes for me. This is wash. And I, and I do probably maybe 200 of these in like, uh, you know, three weeks when I'm there. Work, I work all night. Go ahead, this is a gouache of paper, okay? This is another one. And yes, it probably was from, from a sketch or a gesture drawing similar to the, the arches, archways that we saw in, in the ceiling, the cathedral ceiling two slides back. Or it could have been a dome that goes, you know, that's in the center, uh, you know, of the, um, uh, near the altars, it's, it's sort of a centerpiece in the interior of the, of the churches. If you look up, there's this gigantic dome. This may have been the dome. I did a sketch and I, and I would take shapes. I, I hate to be so repetitive, but it's really important to me. I would take shapes from what I had drawn, not from my photographs, not from what I remembered, but, but I would, are trying to find it. But I, I first take what I see, I find a shape in the sketch, and then I may start working from there. Uh, and just bringing other things into it. And of course, color is important. Okay. Guanajuato is, is, is uh, five hours north of Mexico City. And as you saw in the first slide, it's in the mountains. And the Spaniards discovered goals in the mountains in, in around 1650. And they just moved in and uh, started uh, uh, building in the town and, and defining the architecture and, and hiring everybody that was local to do the mining in the town. And, and, and they're still mining silver. They, they're still mining silver in those hills today. Um, this, this is an, uh, another painting and this has the opacity that I was talking about. And the intervals, if you will zoom in on this, If you can zoom in a little bit, Oops, sorry. go back, huh? Yeah, if you can zoom in just to show the intervals. Sorry, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Screen wasn't cooperating. <laughs> uh, that's fine. This is great right here. You know, and, and, and sometimes I, I, I will add like uh, lava rocks that, that you buy at Gara Paint. Yeah, uh, they're, they're different consistencies that I'll add that <laughs> to my paint to uh, start with, with the texture. These are acrylic and, I and I'll add thickener. And there are a lot of additives that you can use in Gera paint. Uh, but, but if you if you look at the, if I could show you the intervals again, uh, like, like this is blue shape coming down and, and it arches. At the bottom of the blue shape, it arches. And, and on the left-hand side, you see a little bit of green there, right there, uh-huh. And then there's a little bit of green Right, right, right to the right of it, uh-huh, uh, like right there. 
And 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 if if you look at the uh, let's see, this orange shape that's not the yellow orange shape that's on the right left hand side. If if you come down it, you start seeing light areas that I did not paint out, and that functions at what I call the intervals. I don't consciously do these; they just show up in the work because that's something that I'm interested in is is intervals. And and for me, it keeps the painting from from getting flat. One thing I'm interested in. Uh, in paint is is the idea of like push and pull, you know. It's it's not like the Hans Hoff. It's it is a Hans Hoffman push and pull, but it goes everywhere. Hans Hoffman push and pull was was like this. It was all over the place. It wasn't just like this, and it's nothing new in painting. Uh, push and pull uh, to to get depth uh, was done a hundred years before. You know, Hans Hoffman was teaching it uh, on Eighth Street in Greenwich Village. Uh, in 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 the late 1940s, so so it it is a it is a it is a concept for getting depth on a picture plane, and and so so it's not all static, um, but the colors are the shapes and the colors are moving around, um, and 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 not just flat. Okay. Thank you. Next one is good. This is a gouache taken from, from a sketch. Uh, and, and, I, and I can take like this, this shape going across the, uh, the di diagonal blue going across the uh, upper third out of the page. It may be that that's all I got from my sketch, that shape. And, and then I found all these other shapes as, as I was painting. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't know where these green shapes came from. I was just adding color. Um, um, uh, and you can see that with gouache, I can build in layers. I don't use gouache opaquely, but for me, it, it's, it, it's, it, it's a wash, not like watercolor, which, which, which is more transparent. You know, uh, gouache, uh, gouache can be transparent, but these are more translucent. Okay. Okay, this is a painting. Wow. These, these are recent paintings uh, now. Um, some of those that I showed you where it was very opaque uh, were earlier paintings. But, but, but again, it, it, looking at a sketch, taking part of it, it may be just a little area, half an inch by one inch that I see a shape in my sketch um, or, my, or my gesture drawing. And I, and I start with that and, and then I ju it just goes. Color is very important to me, of course. Uh, Larry Kuhn said, uh, um, uh, "Color in painting is everything." He said, "He said, no, no, this, 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 this is not gospel, but it's how some painters feel." He said, "He said, without color, you don't have a painting." He said, "Painting, color is everything in painting." And I don't know if, if well, for me, drawing and painting are the same thing. They're the same thing. And what you're doing with, with, with a paint is that you're drawing with paint because painting has drawing in it. And the drawing, as you know, I don't, I, I'm not trying to lecture to you, you know, uh, forgive me if it sounds this way, but this is just things I think about. If you were to draw this in charcoal, right? And you would be rendering it in lights and darks, all these different tones. And in, in painting, you use paint, you use different colors. So you're still drawing, but you're drawing with paint. And, and then if you, if you look for a moment, you, you can start to see the intervals, you know, you know between uh, colors, the, the little color areas that surround the edges of the shape. Okay. Well, these are all done this past year. This is a, a street scene in Guanajuato. Oh, yeah, and, and the... Um, uh, the uh, as, as you go up the mountain uh, on on the uh, uh, hillside, all the houses are different colors. It's 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 like a Paul Clay painting. They're all different colors. These little specks, and as you get close to them, or, uh, and the uh, area is very hilly, as you can see, because you're in the mountains. 